Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, no, I'm just kidding. Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing amazing. Today I wanted to discuss and talk to you guys about why you shouldn't be in a relationship if you have unresolved insecurities. So right now I want to start with an example. And I want to discuss an example which is very common with a lot of uh, couples in this generation and it's with the problem of cheating um, and this whole video will be regarding insecurities and how you need to deal with your insecurities firsthand before um, expecting to have a healthy relationship so let's say for example I had a past relationship right I fooled around and then I wanted to get into uh, a relationship with another woman but I had past experiences and then I just said whatever and I got into a relationship now I'm in this relationship with this girl but I don't know if I fully love her I don't know if I fully want to be committed with her so I end up cheating. Even though I'm saying I'm going to be committed, I'm going to be in this relationship, but I'm still cheating on this girl. Um, okay, whatever, a couple of months go by, uh, you fall deeper and deeper in love, and now you're serious, um, but you still have this habit of cheating. And now you're a cheater uh, who's in this relationship. And then fast forward a couple more months, now you're out of this relationship, you've built this kind of persona or personality and now fast forward two or three years you find the love of your life and you want to get into a relationship with this person and you know probably start a family, start you know a relationship and build something healthy. But now the problem arises which is that you've had that past personality you've had this personality trait and you haven't done the work to take care of it so now you're gonna see your insecurities in your partner and you're gonna put your insecurities in your partner for example you're not a cheater anymore and you want to start a fresh clean slate but and your partner is not a cheater cheater either but you get into a relationship with this person and she says now, oh hey, I'm going to go to the club with my friends to have some fun or a bar or whatever. And you know she hasn't done anything, but you start snooping in her phone when she comes back. You're worried she's talking to other guys because she's in that environment. You think other guys are hitting her up and she's going to cheat. But she isn't doing that your insecurities are just coming out of you and stemming and being put on her and therefore arguments start to arise oh why are you messaging this person oh what were you doing last night oh tell me exactly all the details oh what about this what about that what about this and now you see all these unnecessarily problems start to arise just because you yourself didn't do the work so how do you get through something like this and how can you get a better healthier relationship out of this personally if you have insecurities you might not even know about some that you might have if you're already in a relationship before you get into a relationship let's talk about if you get into a relationship after before you get into a relationship you and this is the, another powerful thing about journaling and writing you need to write down all your insecurities everything that you're struggling with and work at them you need to figure out okay why am i insecure about this what has happened in my past and how can i make sure that if i get into a relationship this isn't going to affect my relationship so let's take cheating for example okay i was a cheater i didn't like this person i didn't really have like deep feelings so i cheated on her why did i cheat on her oh because i was unfulfilled Oh, because this or because that and you just list down uh, a list of your reasons and 
In fact, they're actually excuses. So you list down your excuses of why you behave like this and why you don't want to behave like this anymore. Because you're building a new character now, right? Okay, now let's say you're working through them um, and all of a sudden you get into a relationship. You get into this relationship and you have to make sure you communicate these traits of yourself and be honest with this person it doesn't have to be right away it doesn't have to be in the first week that you meet them but you have to be honest with this person and say okay this is what i've struggled with this is what i'm working towards i'm sorry if i'm going to be a little bit um insecure about this uh can you please help me through it rather than you know this comes out of nowhere and then arguments and fights just start happening out of nowhere because of this. So you tell your new partner that you really like, you want to spend time with, hey, I used to be a cheater. Um, I didn't really love this person. I was just with them because I was too scared to be lonely. Uh, and then I ended up cheating on them because I didn't really care for them. But you're different. I want to be with you. I want to give my whole life to you. Uh, these are just my past insecurities and things that I've went through and I need you to help me work through them and if they're an emotionally intelligent mature person most of the time if they love you and they want to make it work they'll help you through it they'll say hey I understand okay I like to have fun um, I want to go out but I I don't want to break your trust, so you're just going to have to trust me. And trust is a huge thing at the beginning uh, of relationships. You have to go through a lot of trials to deepen and further build that trust between uh, a bond uh, and a part partnership between you and another person. So if anything, you should be uh, more open to letting the person be on their own trying new things because if something arises and the truth will always come out it's better to have that at the beginning of the relationship but at the beginning of the relationship if this person is you know going out with their friends let's say they're going for a girls night there's lots of guys around them um, she's able to put herself out in situations where originally your insecurities would be stemming and firing up oh she's definitely cheating oh she's not texting me oh this oh that but now that you've kind of communicated your insecurities she's keeping you updated you have more of oh in like computer terms it's called a firewall but like in i guess relationship terms it could be like a a trust barrier your trust barrier has kind of gone up the barrier doesn't go up, but like anyway, your barrier has kind of gone down where you trust them more because you've opened up to them more. So the more you're able to open up is the more your trust between each other is going to strengthen and be built. That's what a lot of people don't necessarily realize, um, which is the more vulnerable you're able to be the more you're able to share with your about your past the more you're able to explain yourself as a human what you struggle with what you worry about what you go through if that person is really wanting to be with you they're going to understand you and they're going to accept you for who you are but if you hide back everything behind a certain personification eventually you're going to slip up eventually you're gonna your true colors are gonna show and then this person that you're with is like wait who the heck is this person like why are they like being insecure about this like i thought they didn't have any insecurities or i didn't think they had things to worry about with this right this is really important also in not just like romantic relationships but rom uh, relationships with like with people you know like why can this person have a good relationship but i can't and then i'm just gonna get mad at them for having a good relationship when 
realistically, it's just my fault that I don't have a relationship. Just not to confuse you guys, let me give you an example. Let's say, for example, my girlfriend has a great relationship with her brother, right? And now let me give you another example. I don't have a good relationship with my brother. Does that give me any right to be insecure about my girlfriend's and my brother's relationship with each other? No, no not my brother, my girlfriend and her brother's relationship. Just because they're able to communicate, they're happy together, doesn't mean that I should get mad at her for having a strong bond with her family. But for example, for me, I need to work on my insecurities with my brother, strengthen our relationship, so that I don't portray any negative emotions on my girlfriend's and my girlfriend's brother's relationship. We've all heard the saying, and if you haven't, and this is the first time, life is a mirror of your own reflection. Life is a reflection, which is a mirror of your own inside. So however you feel about something and anything on the inside is how you are going to perceive everything on the outside. Right, so if you think and perceive that all relationships are bad inside, you are going to have bad experiences with everybody in bad relationships because you are going to find negative things about everything and about anything, about everything and anything because they will just arise because this is just how you've programmed your mind to think. But if you start seeing the good in people, if you start seeing the positive in in being more grateful that you're able to experience these things, you will have more positive experiences. Oh, I'm happy that my girlfriend and her brother have an amazing relationship. Let me ask them and learn from them what they're doing wrong, right? And let me see if I can use that information or maybe they can help me get a better relationship with my brother. Wow, who would have ever thought? We can learn from each other as people, right? Same thing from for going back to the, the romantic relationship part. If I see that my friend has a good relationship with whatever, her wife um, or, her, or his girlfriend, and I'm struggling in mine, I'm going to go to him openly, and if this is my friend, he is going to come looking at me in a non-judgmental way and say, ha, 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 look, you're struggling, I'm better. No. You're going to say, hey, yeah, man, let, tell me what you're going through and let me see how you can help. And you have to be prepared to hear that it might be your fault. It might be your fault that the relationship is struggling and not the other person's fault. <laughs> and if you can't hear and understand that information, it might be a sign of the fact that you still haven't done the work. You are not mature enough yet to be in a relationship because you are going to make the other person suffer more and longer than they actually should be. It's funny because a lot of people get into relationships thinking that their lives are gonna be better and trust me, with the right person, it makes your life a whole lot better. Like relationships, there's a reason we, we feel and we strive for that human to human um, relationship, especially like a romantic one. It's, it's because it makes us feel whole, but we're not gonna feel whole or you're not gonna feel whole if you have these insecurities that you're just constantly pouring on people and making them feel like they're the ones that are doing something wrong when it's just in reality you who haven't done the work. And this doesn't have to only apply to cheating. This can apply to so many other things. 
Like, for example, lying. Let's say you have a problem with lying and you might not be self-aware and insecure realistically about it, but you just have this, this issue and you're just like a pathological liar. You're lying about this, you're lying about that. And then you can't trust yourself because you know you're a liar and you're just creating this whole false reality because you're lying about everything. Everything that's going to come out of somebody else's mouth is going to seem like a lie to you because you haven't done the work to stop being a liar. You haven't done the work yourself and you're going to even if though your partner is not lying to you she's telling you the truth you're not going to believe them because you're a liar intrinsically you're a liar you're lying about everything and everything that your partner is saying is true but you're thinking that they unfortunately i ran out of space on my memory card but i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, um i just spent like 10 minutes clearing it and Restoring it and erasing it and so much computer technical shit. Main takeaway. Before you think it's somebody else's problem. See that it isn't your own insecurity. Take care of it. And watch your relationship flourish. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Subscribe if you're new. Like, comment. And I'll see you in the next one. Create more than you consume. Serve others. Love everyone. Peace.